So I'm going to be talking about how to set up folders to organize your emails. In business, you receive a lot of emails. As an ICT teacher, I must admit, in a day I can get about 20, 30 emails from different people. So setting up folders is a good way of organizing the emails that you get. So if you kind of receive emails from different people, you can set up folders and each person will have a name on a folder. So when you receive an email from that person, you put it in there. You receive another email from someone else, it goes in their folder. So that when you are kind of looking back at whatever emails you've received, you know exactly where to go containing the emails that you're talking about. Now to set up folders, I'm going to move my mouse cursor, as you can see. I'm going to go to where it says inbox right here. Look at my mouse cursor and I'm going to right click, not left click. Remember the mouse has two parts to click. Okay, there is the right click and the left click. I'm going to use the right click button. So I'll right click and I'll choose create new folder. And please pay attention. I am right clicking the inbox. So right click inbox and choose create new folder. And I'm going to, let's say I'm going to put a folder for Mr. Ball. Okay. And then I will once again right click and I'll choose create new folder. I'm going to create a new folder for Miss Long. Okay. I'm going to right click again and let's say I want to create a folder for Miss Feeder. Okay. So now I have three folders Mr. Ball, Miss Long, and Miss Feeder. Okay. Now let's say I've got an email from Mr. Ball. All I simply have to do now, there are two ways of doing this. I can simply click on the email, all right, just to see which email it is. Simply click and hold the email and drag it into the folder for Mr. Ball. Drag and drop, and it's been put in there, okay? And then I have another email from Miss Long. Excuse me. I'm going to click this email here and put it in the Miss Long's folder right here. Okay, so I'll go on my inbox, I'll click the email and hold, left click and hold, drag it into Miss Long's folder, and there it is, I've put the email in Miss Long's folder. Okay, so you can click on inbox, there shouldn't be anything in my inbox now because I've moved it all. So if I click on Mr. Ball's folder, I'm going to click, there is the email from Mr. Ball, and if I click on Miss Long's folder, I'll click that, there is the email from Miss Long. All right? And if I click on Miss Feeder's folder, there's nothing in there because I haven't put anything in there. I can always, if I want to modify these folders, I can right click the folder and I can choose rename. If I want to change it, I can change it from Miss Feeder to Miss Shobrook. Okay. Or I can right click it. If I do not want the folder anymore, I can simply click delete and I'll choose OK and the folder has been deleted. And that is how you add folders into your email, okay? Folders are a good way of organizing your emails, okay? The folders are a good way of organizing, making your email account tidy, and actually a way of searching through your email, especially with someone like me. When you work, when you're of working age and you work in a business, you probably end up getting three, 400 emails a day. And you have to make sure you sort these emails properly Put them in the correct folders so that you can retrieve them later and work on them. Now, please go and answer the questions and try it for yourself as well on your email. Thank you.